the, the machines that you would talk about three or four years ago, classed as high technology, or it's got a pallet system, and that is, is sort of, is your run-of-the-mill sale now. Great to see machine tools now appearing to be readily available and that is the case here at the Engineering Technology Group. I'm with Steve Brown, we're going to look at just a few of the machines that they have now got available from stock. Um, Steve, uh, good to see that machines are coming back in and, you, and it's not just what we're going to see here now but you've got Nakamura machines here, uh, you know, several different models. Gives engineers the ability to make quick decisions, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's, it's great great to see. It's nice to see the factories getting getting the work the work out and and obviously coming over to ourselves. And it's the beauty that we're now selling them on the water, so it allows, it allows us to, as soon as it's land, it's it's in, it's back out um, and you, to the customer. You've got to make decisions, which is always difficult as to which machines to bring in. Um, this one here. A two meter, is it two meter machine? No, 1600 this 1600. one 1600, okay, yeah. so you're obviously thinking to yourself there's a big market for these, people that want yeah. something bigger than a, a meter Well this BMC. is just, just one of a, a range, so literally from the Quasar um, portfolio, we've, we've had to order in anything from 600 all the way up to two and a half meter. Um, so we have one of every configuration, um, we have a number of controls, um, Siemens, Fanuc and R-D9. Um, so yeah, but, but the size thing though, I mean, you've got to, if you're bringing machines in, you've got to be confident you're going to move them. So there is a big market still for the, the bigger VMC. Yeah, oh certainly, yeah, 1600s, because people are, again, as we spoke about automation, not necessarily they want to step into automation, but they can get more pieces on more the parts, table. Bigger Y-axis, bigger, uh, bigger everything. But yeah. Okay, let's, uh, let's now look at something a little bit smaller, which is here, is the UX500. Uh, five axis machine, something that we've spoken about a lot about engineers yes. going from three to five axis into palletization, which you can add to this machine as well. Um, but readily available here. Yes, yeah, so some we, companies we, can't get five axis at the moment. No, we, with this, this 500 t together, you've helped us, you know, target target um, this particular machine and heavily market it. And now we're reaping the benefits of that. Um, working with a rower, we've got pallet systems that are coming through that are again in stock and readily available. So. Again, every five axis machine that we've got, we've had to hold this one back for our showroom. Again, we're selling on the, on, on the water. We're forward ordering with our suppliers for probing systems and swarf management systems to enable it when it lands that we can, we can deliver it out. So yeah, um, Siemens, Fanuc and Ida 9 readily available. And five axis these days is something that lots of companies are jumping into, aren't they? They're, they're, they're going that way now. Looking yeah, I, I think as we, as we get on to Nakamura, the, um, the, the high end stuff, and, the, the machines that you would talk about three or four years ago, classed as high technology, or it's got a pallet system, and that is, is sort is your, is your run-of-the-mill run sale now. You know, yeah, it's so not very often. That machine will never get delivered out of the box. Yeah, you'll have either a fourth axis unit or... Correct. What some people don't consider is automation, is automation, is reducing the, the operator needing to be involved. Uh, milling, EDM, EDM, Mitsubishi. Yeah, so again, um, Mitsubishi, EDM, and, and Spark Erosion, Again, at the beginning of the year, we, we, we forward ordered 30 units. Um, we've, we've seen the, the, the luxury of those coming through, selling them on the, on the, on the water. Again, held these back. Um, but we have a variance of different sizes um, and different power consumptions available in, in, in stock. Uh, so, Steve, uh, if people are, are interested in any of your models here, they can obviously come to the ETG showroom. There's, there's plenty more than than what we've just looked at here with the Mitsubishi and the milling side. You've got your Nakamura and you've got some new products on the horizon, which we're not gonna say too much about. Not yet. And an open house coming at the end of November. Yep. Great to be back here. Great to see machines available, ready to go. Get yourself here uh, if you're in the market for a new machine tool uh, to ETG in Wellsbourne. Thank you, Steve. Cheers, Paul. Thank you.